So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And once you're on this, you wanna click on any service one time and then click on W on your keyboard. Now you wanna find Windows Audio, double click on it. Make sure that you have the startup type on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. Now you wanna right click on Windows Audio and then click on restart. See if this works for you. If that's still not working for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in sound settings, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down and then click on more sound settings. And then once this comes up, once you're in the playback tab, you wanna right click on the black space. Make sure you have show disabled devices and show disconnected devices both selected. Do the same thing for recording as well. Right click on the blank space. Make sure that you have them both ticked. That means that you can see all of your devices on your computer. Now you wanna find your correct device. You wanna click on it and then click on set default. Now the tick will appear right here, meaning that it's now a default device. And then do the same thing for the recording tab as well. Now you wanna find your device. You wanna double click on it and then click on enhancements and then click on restore defaults. And then click on okay. And then click on okay again. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Now you wanna click on other troubleshooters. And now you wanna find audio, click on run. And then once you run this, is gonna be saying, do we have your consent to run automated diagnostics? You wanna click on yes. And you now wanna go through all the steps that will come up. And then once you complete this troubleshooter, you just wanna restore your computer. And then this should now fix your problem.